You know, I have two kids. I have a son, Kyler, and a daughter, Monroe. And when you have more than one kid, you know, you, you love all your kids the same. But you like one more. <laughs> it varies from day to day, you know, depending on their behavior. When my kids were younger, I tended to prefer the company of my son. Not because he was older, not because he was a boy. He was just a, uh, he was a better person. <laughs> he, just, he just consistently made more positive life choices. You know, I love my daughter, you know, but when she was young, she was very cruel. She was a difficult person. She was the kind of kid when she was a toddler, she'd like to come up to you, you know, just get right up close to your face and just say, I don't love you. And then when you got sad, she would like get so happy and just kind of walk off. So she'd get mad over everything. And I, and, I, and I would try and be so nice to her. If anything, I was actually nicer to her than I was to my son in this weird, pathetic attempt to get her to be nicer to me. I'd give her over-the-top compliments and she'd still get mad at me. I'm like, Monroe, you are beautiful. You're as beautiful as a princess. I said that to her one time and she actually got like irritated and she goes, no, I'm prettier than a princess. And I just thought you better be because no one's gonna love you for your personality. <laughs> Brutal. She was tough to discipline as a kid. She just didn't really care, you know, what you did. Like my son was so easy when he was little, he's sensitive. You know, you put him in the corner for timeout and he's just mad that you're upset with him. First time I put him in a row in the corner for timeout, she just stared at me and laughed. It's like, ooh, corner, so scary. What's your next move, old man? You gonna punch a baby? You got nothing. <laughs> In the rare occasion that the timeout didn't work for Kyler, all you had to do next is just take his favorite toy, put it on top of the fridge, you know, and let him know he had to improve his behavior to get that toy back in his life. And that worked every time with him. First time I put Monroe's favorite toy up on top of the fridge, she just stopped caring about that toy. <laughs> I don't care, leave puppy dog. I don't even like puppy dog anymore. You know, you should take baby doll, put it next to puppy dog. Maybe, maybe puppy's lonely. Why don't you take a bunch of my toys, put them in the driveway, light them on fire, show the neighbors how much of a man you are. <laughs> you can take all my toys. Don't you understand what's happening here yet? You're my only toy. <laughs>